Hello! Today I'd like to go over the auto backup module that is available in the Odoo App Store. Um, it does a couple things. One is that it actually backs up your database and it will back up um, either just the data or the data and the um, attachments. If you want to back up attachments, you have to make sure you have enough space because that could be a, become a very large file. And um, <clears throat> the way that you get the auto backup modules, uh, you can just simply search auto backup Odoo and <clears throat> you should be taken here. Um, it's available in version 11, 8, 9, and version 6, as well as version 10. I happen to have version 10 running, so I installed it on version 10. And here's the configuration. It's pretty simple. Um, it's going to change if you have an SSL a bit. Your port should change to 443 instead of instead of the default 8069, which is where Odoo will run on the default unless you tell it to run elsewhere, uh, to, unless you tell um, it to uh, listen for um, other connections, such as port 7069 or port 9069 or whichever port you want to use. So... Uh, make sure you have the correct port in there. Make sure that your database name is actually um, correct in here. The text is correct. That uh, uh, any It is case sensitive as well. Um, there's no drop down here for you to be able to see your all your databases, so you'll have to put that in manually. Um, here, this is important, the backup type. Remember I mentioned that if we just take a dump, it's smaller than the zip. Um, so the zip includes all your file attachments, <clears throat> and um, that could get quite large. Um, currently, I'm just going to take uh, a dump because I, I don't have uh, a lot of attachments in this database, uh, and I don't really want to back, back them up. And then, of course, this is important too. You need the absolute path for your database backups. So mine happens to be in OPT, DB backups. Um, I like this feature here, auto remove backups, because it allows uh, you to keep the you know, keep your storage space uh, freed up um, by removing backups that are one or two or three or four days old. Now, <clears throat> and it'll auto remove them. Um, now, SFTP, I don't use. Uh, I've tried to use it in the past on, for this module, but I actually, I use it, but I use a, a, a shell script to, to accomplish pushing my backup to another server. Um, <clears throat> you could also have it sync to Dropbox. You can have a number of things happen there. But I push mine to an external server. Um, I do not, like I said, do not use this. I don't want people to um, try and use this because what will happen is you are going to have to install PYSFTP. Um, there seems to be a problem with PYSFTP and Odoo 10 compatibility, or maybe it's Ubuntu 16. Um, I was reading about it somewhere. I just don't, I simply don't use it. Uh, I don't want to mess up my production server, so I went ahead and just left that blank. I had to do something else, though, because the auto backup module depends on this library that is not going to be there unless you um, comment this line right here, So, or these lines, rather. So I just, I added, you know, I just commented this here. It tries to import uh, PYSFTP. I don't want to import PYSFTP. And then also, if you search for, in the file, if you search for PYSFTP, then you'll need to comment those lines as well because you don't have the, um, you're not importing the module, so it's not going to work. So um, if you do that, before you install the module, then you should be good, and you will be able to get full backups of your database uh, every day. And... Um, there is one more thing. If you go into developer mode and then you go to your technical menu uh, and then you go to ske automation scheduled actions, um, the backup scheduler action will be here. It's created by the module. And uh, you can see that it, yeah, it runs this method for the db.backup object. And uh, uh, you'll want to make sure that this is active because I don't think it, it, it is actually turned on. Um, so you want to make sure and check that box once you've installed the module and you've got everything configured so that once a day, uh, every day, this thing will back up your database. And that will conclude this video. For more tutorials, please go to quickbeamllc.com and check out
the rest of my videos, uh, tutorials, as well as um, information on the site and updates uh, and events. So with that, I'm going to sign off and I want to thank you.